There has been a lot of talk about UFOs being treated as a reality lately. Congress even ordered a special Pentagon team to deliver an unclassified report on UFOs before the end of June. A classified version of this report was provided to lawmakers earlier this month, and the BBC says that unnamed officials told U.S. media that the report found no evidence of alien activity, but also did not rule it out. This did not stop the controversial writer Professor Avi Loeb from publishing his opinion in The Scientific American saying that the soon-to-be-revealed UFO report shows that people should buy his new book about Oumuamua being an alien spacecraft. Here are the details. Professor Avi Loeb published his opinion about the Pentagon's soon-to-be-released UFO report on the Scientific American website on Tuesday, June 22nd. He made use of the opportunity to say that the new focus on unidentified aerial phenomena shows that there is growing evidence that alien spacecraft could exist and that his book about it should be taken more seriously. Professor Avi Loeb published an article on the Scientific American website on June 22nd saying the Pentagon's recent UFO report shows his theory should be taken more seriously. His theory is that the interstellar object dubbed Oumuamua that passed near the sun recently is actually an alien probe. He based his theory on the fact that grainy images of the object suggest it is a flat object that seems to tumble once every eight hours. It also seemed to accelerate as if it was pushed away from the sun like a light sail. He also claimed that for Oumuamua to be a random natural object, the number of objects like it would have to be many times more than previously calculated by himself. Critics of Loeb's theory says the interstellar object is most likely a shard of rock or a loose cloud of dust grains, and its acceleration in the outer solar system was caused by bursts of evaporating ice. And regarding the UFO report that has to be presented to Congress before the end of this month, although no earth-shattering revelations were expected, the existence of a government report on a much ridiculed issue shows how UFOs have beamed out of the realm of purely science fiction pop culture and into the world of U.S. national security. Astronomer Avi Loeb just finished a new book in which he doubles down on his controversial claim that interstellar object Oumuamua could have been an alien craft. Here's what you need to know. Oumuamua is the first interstellar object ever observed by humans. It was discovered on October 19, 2017, when it was about 33 million kilometers from Earth and already heading away from Earth. Scientists were unable to get a clear picture of how the object looked, but estimated it is roughly a cigar-shaped object that entered the solar system at an unusual orbit and unusually high speed. Researchers found it hard to determine some of the phenomena displayed by the object. One scientist, Avi Loeb, published an article in 2018 stating that the object could be a life sail or probe sent intentionally to Earth's vicinity by an alien civilization. Other astrophysicists were not impressed. In 2019, an international team of researchers published a study and said they found that Oumuamua's properties are consistent with a natural origin. But Loeb replied in 2020 that the data we gathered on Oumuamua is incomplete. He added that to learn more, we must continue to monitor the sky for similar objects. According to Forbes magazine, Loeb's new book doubles down on his claim that the object could have been an alien craft. Scientists believe they have determined the origin of the extrasolar object Oumuamua. First observed on the Pan Stars Astronomical Observatory in Hawaii, Oumuamua means scout or messenger in Hawaiian. Here is what you need to know. Oumuamua resembles a comet, but is sufficiently different to have sparked intense speculation as to its nature, including that it may be an alien spacecraft. In a pair of papers published in the AGU Journal of Geophysical Research Planets, Arizona State University astronomers determined the 45-meter or 148-foot object appears to be made of frozen nitrogen, just like the surfaces of Pluto and Neptune's moon, Triton. The astrophysicists think Oumuamua likely ejected from the surface of a Pluto-like exoplanet during a collision half a billion years ago that sent it tumbling out toward our solar system. Being made of frozen nitrogen explains Oumuamua's weird shape. Like a bar of soap whose outer layers get rubbed off through use, Oumuamua's outer layers would have evaporated by cosmic radiation and, more recently, radiation from our sun, making it progressively flatter. 
Like a comet, Oumuamua sped up as it approached the sun and sunlight vaporized the ices it is made of. But unlike a comet, these escaping substances do not produce a visible tail. By looking at the rate at which various ices would sublimate to create this rocket effect, the astronomers concluded that Oumuamua is likely made of nitrogen ice. When Oumuamua was at its closest approach to Earth, it appeared to have a width six times that of its thickness. By the time the object begins to leave the solar system around 2040, it will be 10 times as wide as it is thick, the researcher said in an Arizona State University press release. The Guardian reports that not all scientists accept this conclusion, including Harvard professor Avi Loeb, author of Extraterrestrial, the first signs of intelligent life beyond Earth. Astronomers say they have cracked the mystery surrounding Oumuamua, the solar system's first known interstellar visitor. Since its discovery in 2017, the cigar-shaped space object Oumuamua has flummoxed scientists with its odd shape and acceleration movements that gravity effects cannot explain. A new study published in Nature now suggests the tidal forces that formed Oumuamua may have caused its erratic behavior. Oumuamua was first spotted by the Pan-STARRS Observatory in Hawaii on October 19, 2017. The object's name means a messenger from afar arriving first. The object's apparently dry composition and movements are so puzzling that the chair of Harvard's astronomy department, Abby Loeb, speculated it was an alien space probe. Writing in a news release, researchers say that Oumuamua's parent body or bodies may have had a close encounter with a host star. They say computer models show the tidal forces from the stars could rip the parent body apart and turn the original object into an elongated field of debris. The fragments may have then melted under the intense heat near the star before condescending again to form the strange cigar shape of the Oumuamua. This could explain why Oumuamua has a dry surface when scientists had expected most interstellar objects to be ice-based comets. Additionally, water ice could be trapped under Oumuamua's surface. As the object makes its passage through the solar system, the ice could be vaporized and converted to thrust, which gives Oumuamua its gravity-defying accelerations. The researchers say it is still highly uncertain if the theory is correct. So maybe it's still the aliens? The Pentagon is starting to open up about footage of UFOs taken by U.S. military personnel over the last few years. This comes as anticipation builds around the military's report about UFO sightings, which has to be presented before the U.S. Senate by next month. Here are the details. CBS News reports that the Pentagon has confirmed that strange footage taken aboard the USS Omaha in 2019 is being investigated by its UAP task force after Navy personnel recorded video of UAPs, or unidentified aerial phenomenon, exhibiting characteristics that defy our current understanding of physics. After decades of public denial regarding UFOs, the Pentagon now admits that there's something out there, and the U.S. Senate has ordered the military to deliver a report on the mysterious sightings by June 2021. Luis Elizondo, who ran the Pentagon's top-secret UFO program, has warned the report could reveal the greatest U.S. intelligence failing since 9-11. Imagine a technology that can do six to 700 G-forces, that can fly at 13,000 miles an hour, that can evade radar and that can fly through air and water and possibly space, he told CBS News. And oh, by the way, has no obvious signs of propulsion, no wings, no control surfaces and yet still can defy the natural effects of Earth's gravity. That's precisely what we're seeing. U.S. Navy pilots told CBS News that they had encountered strange flying objects on an almost daily basis in the skies over restricted airspace off the coast of Virginia. Analysts believe the strange craft could be game-changing spy technology used by Russia or China, or devices operated by an alien civilization. Many scientists believe that the moon formed when a Mars-sized planet called Theia struck Earth around 4.5 billion years ago. Now, a team of scientists theorize that Thea's remains are what formed two mysterious continent-sized blobs of rock buried deep in Earth's mantle. For decades, seismologists have puzzled over these two blobs, which sit below West Africa and the Pacific Ocean and straddle Earth's core like a pair of headphones. Up to 1,000 kilometers tall and several times that wide, they are the largest thing in Earth's mantle, says Qian Yuan, a PhD student in geodynamics at Arizona State University. 
Seismic waves from earthquakes abruptly slow down when they pass through the layers, which suggests they are denser and chemically different from the surrounding mantle rock. These blobs might simply have crystallized out of the depths of Earth's primordial magma ocean. But based on new isotopic evidence and modeling, Yuan believes the blobs are the guts of the theoretical alien impactor planet. The study is currently under review. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.